Hi, and welcome back to Nomads on Deck. On this week's episode, we're going to give you a tour of the boat and all the renovations we've been doing. And we know it's been a while that we've been here, but we are going to give you a little preview of everything that's been happening for the past few weeks. So this is what you've missed. During Veterans Day, we had a boat parade and there were over 100 boats fully decorated. It was super cool. It was right in front of our boat. And there was also an activity for veterans in our marina, which it was so nice to see. We got hit by the tropical storm Ida. Luckily, we didn't have any damage, but we did have to evacuate the marina and we stayed with friends. But these boats were not so lucky. They were out at anchor and we think that they didn't have enough chain to support the wind and the water. So this one was already removed already, but the second one, unfortunately, is still there. Nobody claimed it. So that is very unfortunate that somebody lost their boat. And of course, when it comes to the renovations, we've been working nonstop, but the boat looks so different and we're so happy. Jeremiah over here, he was working on the countertop of the bathroom and you will see it on the video. And we took everything out so we could reorganize and paint, but it was a mess. But the biggest milestone was that we finally got our walls and you will see it in the video, but we were so blessed that we were giving those walls. So today is maintenance day here on our boat. Over the weekend, our bilge got completely full of water all the way up to the bottom of the engines, which is not good. Uh, usually it's, you know, two to three inches of water in the bottom. Uh, and the reason that it got so high is because our bilge pump doesn't have a float switch. So I went ahead and got a float switch. And just in case we got ourselves a new bilge pump as well to go with it. This is the Rule 2000. It's uh, 2000 gallons per hour that it'll pump out of the boat if need be. Continuing with the renovations, we finally removed the bathroom flooring and we added this new peel and stick, which was not as easy as we thought it was going to be. And also we have a new countertop, a new sink, a new faucet, and the bathroom looks completely different and beautiful. During Thanksgiving, we went to Ohio and we picked up our Christmas tree with the in-laws and it was so much fun to finally be able to decorate. But the most important thing was that we finally, after two months, we saw our puppies again and we picked them up and they are finally back in the boat with us. And of course we took advantage of Black Friday and we bought our new mattress. We also got fabric to replace the ugly cover we have on the windows for pretty ones. And the very next morning we packed everything, packed our puppies, and we left Ohio on our way to Florida. And we are just so excited to have them with us again. And of course, as soon as we got there, we opened the mattress because we had to wait 48 hours to be able to use it. So even though it was 11 o'clock at night, we did not care. We did not want to wait anymore. We just wanted a bed. And Christmas came to the boat. Look how cute this looks. And now that the puppies are back, we are adapting to our new lifestyle with them. It was so helpful that they were with the in-laws while we were working, but we missed them so much. And they are enjoying every minute of it. We thought it was going to be hard for them to adapt, but they are loving it. They love being outside and it just makes everything easier. And lastly, we had a Christmas boat parade going right in front of our boat. So we decided to invite our friends so they could watch it but also so they could see how different the boat looked. They saw the boat when we first got it and they were just amazed to see how different it looks now. So I'm sorry we haven't been around much, but let's go ahead and start this tour. We hope you enjoy it. Don't mind Millie getting blinded by the sun, but enjoy the tour. So come with me and let's start the tour. So welcome back. Last time we did this tour, the boat was completely messed up so you're gonna see a huge difference we are not even done we're not even halfway there but we are so excited to see how different it looks we hope you like it come on in as you can see we have a couch now and we even have pillows and decorations so one of the biggest milestones with the boat is that we now have walls which we didn't have and we were incredibly blessed that we were giving the walls and this was a huge thing for us because we were going to do something different and then we got this so um we are not done yet as you can see we are halfway there as i mentioned before but at least it's already making a big difference and if you can see over here we got a beautiful blue for our helm we are still missing some walls but we're almost there 
Uh, we still have to do the back, which right now is just a mess because that's pretty much our storage. But for now, all of this is working. Now let's go down to the kitchen and Jeremiah's gonna show you that part. So welcome to the galley and the dinette. So if we start over here in the galley, you'll see that we have refaced and repainted all of the cabinets, uh, as well as given a new hardware. Pretty soon we're gonna have a new countertop and a new sink and faucet to go with it. Uh, over here in the dinette, we have repainted and patched some major, major holes in the walls over here. And then we repainted everything to brighten it up. We are working on painting the, the benches as well as the, the drawer faces that we still haven't gotten to that part yet. Um, we're gonna have, we have new vinyl right now that we're gonna be replacing these old green uh, cushions with. And it's gonna kind of match the uh, tan brown color that's on the couches, on the pillows. Uh, we have our Christmas wreath over here, and I know you can see it in the reflection. We have our uh, very tediously installed shiplap vinyl, which is a peel and stick wallpaper instead of a traditional wallpaper uh, that went up really nicely. And it goes all the way down to the floor underneath the cabinet, and it looks great. We also repainted the entire ceiling, uh, both, both bulkheads around the windows and this door. And it really brightens everything up because before it was kind of this yellow color of the window frames that we're still working on uh, updating those and kind of giving it a new fresh look. But it looks great and we love it. Uh, more updates to come. When we replace the countertop, we're gonna also replace the uh, main tabletop. It's gonna match, uh, they're gonna match each other as well as match the one that's in the bathroom and the aft cabin that we're gonna show you now. Uh, so come with us. Welcome to our bedroom or the cabin. So over here we redid the closet. We kept the original piece. We just repainted everything and got new handles. Also, um, we decided to get, I don't know if you can see it from there. Uh, we added a little light that we actually got from the dollar store and it works perfectly. And we added these little cubbies. Sorry for the mess. We didn't really clean it up very much. Um, but that works perfectly for storage. Now coming in. Also, in one of our last videos, we showed you that we had the bed platform, but we didn't have a bed yet. Well, we have a bed now. So this is actually one that we got for Ashley. This is an eight inch uh, mattress. And the reason why we went with eight is because as you can see, we don't have enough space. And we, if we get a 10, it would have been very uncomfortable. So a funny story with the bed, We've had a lot of head accidents with it. And the reason why is because, as you can see, there's not a lot of space. And if you're just sleeping, it's fine. The problem is every time we want to move, <laughs> I don't know why we ended up doing this. And we have hit our heads a lot. But I absolutely love it. I feel like I'm a kid in a little fort and it's just so cozy. And we ended up adding the Christmas lights just to give it a little more special touch, which they're falling, so we have to figure out a way to keep them up. But for now, that works. And over here, this is kind of like our nightstand, but we are still working on it. Um, it's not done. And we do need to have access to it because we have the rudders underneath. Um, so we're gonna be having hinges and it's gonna be going up and down. But for now, that's a project that we need to work on. Now on this area, this used to be a bed which we cannot remove because we have holding tanks underneath so we had to keep it the same way so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some cubbies and we're just gonna have more storage for clothes and things that we don't have a room for jeremiah's gonna show you the bathroom and this is like one of my favorite updates because we are almost done all we're missing is two little doors and that's it so let's see it and this is Jeremiah's favorite part because he works so hard in it. Uh, it was challenging at times, stressful at times, but we made it work. Uh, so as you can see down here, we have brand new uh, flooring. And this was also a peel and stick floor. Instead of ordering it in one full sheet, we went ahead and found a kit that we will also link in the description. Uh, I think it was $18-ish for uh, 10 tiles that were 12 by 12. And it lined up perfectly. We went ahead and threw that in there. The hardest part was getting it to follow this curve and still fit underneath the cove base, but with a little bit of patience and practice, you can get it. Uh, so in here, we have our brand new 
custom made by me countertop <laughs> uh and some people may be asking themselves or might want to ask us in the comments how are we going to protect this from the moisture i went ahead and sprayed this down with an automotive clear coat so it's completely sealed all the way around and then all i did was drill two holes into it once we decided where we wanted the hardware to go so we mounted our sink bowl mounted our drain and then the faucet and the faucet matches the mirror very well and both of these also match the shower head which is now on a holder that we might be replacing for another black one just to match everything and if you remember this was part of our wedding our wedding gifts from some of our friends at church we got the faucet sink and shower head from one couple uh tj and melissa as well as the curtain thank you um, we love thank it thank you guys very much <laughs> and the pillows were uh, thanks to some of our other friends as well. Thank you, Anderson and Christina. We love them. <laughs> uh, so, you know, the, all of this is a labor of love, but it's not done alone. We have our friends that are supporting us, uh, helping us along the way, uh, and it's been incredible. So, so over here you can see we have these new sliding doors that were not here before. The ones that were in here when we got the boat were uh, very swollen from all the uh, excess water that was in the area, and they were just kind of falling apart. So we went ahead and replaced them. So these two are to access the systems and the plumbing and everything. These two are to access our toiletries and our soaps and stuff. And then uh, these two right here are actually too big and need to be cut <laughs> down. Uh, but those are going to go right here to kind of hide our towels. Uh, so it, it looks pretty well done, but we are going to repaint one more time as well as hang up our new um, toilet paper holder and our, our hand towel holder. Uh, and a couple hooks for some towels so that we're not tracking water from the from the shower to the cabinet to get a towel after we shower. All right guys, so that is it for our bathroom and I think that concludes our tour. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and link all of the things that we've used, the products and the websites and everything in the description box down below. So if you're interested in finding one of these products and working on your own project, you can find the same exact materials that we used down below. Thank you so much for watching. Again, everything is going to be in the description. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Bye. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the tour and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.